May the fourth be with you. Always. Hope you all enjoyed that. And this will be my review for Star Wars The Cloud Wars Season 7. Now, normally I don't review TV shows on my channel. I mean, I'm also reviewing movies and I do gameplay for certain video games. But that being said, I really wanted to talk about this show. Uh, m mostly re in regards to its last season. But mostly, um, mostly when it comes to the, uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars, uh... Let me tell you a little bit about my history with the show. Um, I didn't watch, like, the entire series, but I, I managed to catch up on, like, a select few episodes from various different seasons. Then I managed to watch, like, uh, uh, the la I mean, the last season on Disney+. Plus. But when the, when the show originally aired on Cartoon Network... Uh, I was mostly interested in the story arcs involving General Grievous. That that was, like, most of the stuff that I was interested in. But my favorite character in the entire series, and I'm pretty sure I'm not alone in this, is Ahsoka Tano. She, uh, she is, like, the highlight of the series and definitely has, like, a strong... I mean, she has an important role in this last season, and mostly when I, uh, mostly when it comes to the last four episodes, which is by far one of my favorite Star Wars stories ever, and I honestly wish that the last four episodes was a movie, and if it was a movie, then, oh my god, it would have been so much of an improvement over the Clone Wars movie that was released in theaters back in 2008, I believe. I believe it was like 2008 or 2009. We'll go with 2008, but anyway, when it came to when it came to that movie, I mean, it was god awful. But when it came when it comes to the show, I mean, it's great, but when it comes to the last season, oh my god, this is what I needed. Mostly when it comes to the last four episodes and when it comes to the Siege of Mandalore, everything involving Ahsoka, oh my god, and her duel with Darth Maul, the animation is gorgeous, and I love that they brought back Ray Park to do the motion capture for Darth Maul and the moveset and him, the way he's swinging the lightsaber, and Everything from his movements, it really feels like the Darth Maul that we know and love. I mean, from, I mean, throughout the entire series of the Clone Wars, and especially the Phantom Menace, even though his, he, I mean, he only had like a little, a little bit of screen time in the Phantom Menace, but mostly when it comes to the Siege of Mandalore, it makes the last, I mean, the previous episodes of the seventh season, but mostly when it comes to the previous episodes of the seventh season, uh, I don't mind them. I mean, they're action ba uh, They're pretty heavily action based and tried to build up a little bit of character arcs. But I mean, there are some uh, some episodes where it kind of leaves you just scratching your head a little bit. But mostly when it comes to the last four episodes, it is oh, it is a gem. It is a gem. Everything from how everything like intertwines with the events of, of Revenge of the Sith. Uh, Anakin and Obi Wan are not really much present during the. I mean, you might see Obi Wan appear in a hologram in the second episode, and um, although Anakin and Obi Wan appear. Uh, briefly in the first, I mean, they they appear in the first half of the uh, of the first of the last few uh, four episodes, but mostly when it comes to the last four episodes as a whole, it is amazing. And in the third, I mean, and the third of the finale, how everything uh, comes into place with Order sixty six about to be initiated you know it was coming and it is heartbreaking to see 
all the clones who had like their helmets made for a, a model after Ahsoka and having them and Captain Rex turn on her when Order 66 has been issued, it is heartbreaking. And you really do care about these characters because they, I mean, uh, how they've gro uh, how they've grown on us and Mm. this story and and how everything plays out at the end of the last episode and it really just that's when the waterworks start flowing and i won't spoil much else but there is um all that okay i'll give one minor detail at the ending a really impressive cameo of darth vader but i mean it's not that, I mean, I mean, the, the one thing that's impressive about this finale is, I mean, it takes place years after the events of Order 66, and Darth Vader, he, and he, uh, there's a bunch of store trippers out, out in this planet, and, and Darth Vader comes there, and he discovers the wreckage of the ship, as well as one of Ahsoka's lightsabers. And he turns away, and the one shot of the uh, of the clone trooper's helmet's reflection on the Vader while he walks away. That one shot. <sighs> that was brilliant, and it was a good way to finish the show. And. Mostly when it comes to the previous episodes, I mean, they're good, but they're not perfect. But when it comes to the last four, The Siege of Mandalore, it is perfect, and it was the perfect way to end the series. So I'm going to give Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7 an A-. minus. Mostly when it comes to that, I mean, I really wish that The Siege of Mandalore was just a movie. <sighs> That would have been amazing. But, yeah. Uh, I hope you're enjoying uh, May the 4th, guys. And I, Plus, I want to give a big shout-out to my best friend, Austin, who has requested me to review Star Wars The Clone Wars. I mostly wanted to focus on Season 7 because it's really special to me, especially the last four episodes. It's just... I'm glad I listened to you, Austin. And we originally wanted to do this video together, but uh, we've been having some technical difficulties, so yeah. But still, uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to Austin, and thank you for encouraging me to make this video. It was, it was a whole lot of fun. Thank you so much, man. And guys, thank you so much as always for watching and supporting my channel. I'm looking forward to doing more videos really soon. If you want my thoughts on old or new movies and want my want, I want to know my gameplay for certain video games, or if you want to know my thoughts on TV shows, of course, you know where to find me. And may the fourth be with you. Always.